Hi there, and welcome back to the YouTube channel, Time Travel is Possible. The YouTube channel that continues to review basically any vintage item. Today, we are going back in the time machine to 1989 to review the G.I. Joe Crusader toy. Let's first take a look at this commercial brought to you by Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> So that is the 32nd commercial. Cobra is fearing the G.I. Joe Crusader. I'm just going to bring this in for a little backdrop here. There we have the Crusader box part. The box was so bad, I just decided to cut it out and keep it as a memento. Let's first go over the guy that came, the figure that came with the G.I. Joe Crusader, and that is Payload. And he looks like this. Wait, that's not Payload. Let's throw that over there. This is Payload. Now, on Payload, uh, he is missing his helmet. So I don't have that. And then he does have his backpack, which is important. Because when you want to simulate um, floating around space, this hole here is what you put the umbilical cord in. And then uh, there's also these little levers that come off that are important if you're collecting this item. So he's missing the helmet and then it needs these arm levers that connect right into the side there that he can control and I don't have the other one. So definitely incomplete. You want to look for the paint job on the blue and the emblem he usually has here. And then obviously is he balding at all? has a good hairline, no bald spots. So that is Payload. Go over him real quick. And then let's try not to make this video too long. So we're gonna go and take a look a little bit closer. So this is a big guy. Uh, he stands also, as you can see there. And it is a spaceship that goes into space. You have this little wheel landing gear that just pops in, pops in and out there. So you want to make sure that those are functioning. The ones in the back, they have a lever that you press up and down. And they kind of lock in, which is nice. Same with this one. But as you can see, there's a lever here gray one you just push it out and then close those and that's that's the bottom of the ship it does have a it does have two guns here also so let's take a look at those those are kind of hard to get out those were a little more difficult than I thought so there they are one on both sides. <clears throat> you just close those up, make sure they're inside there. And then when you're getting into the top, jangles here. When you're getting into the top, you have the cockpit here. The shield comes off, has some nice uh, tinted orange looking windows, three of those. You want to make sure those are in there. And then right in here, you can put payload in there. You can put payload inside and it has these arms that can break off, but they're supposed to push, push them up in there. See those arms and you want to make sure both of those are in there. There are three seats here that he can sit in. And so we'll put that away, but this pops in real nice. And then you get to the bay doors. And these you kind of got to be careful with. For some reason I have a whole extra pair here in case I needed it. 
uh, but you open those up nice and slow so that they don't crack or break. And then inside you will see the Avenger itself, which is right here. And this is basically off the um, drone pilot from the 1986 Raven, which I also have the Cobra Raven review. Go check that out if you want to see that. But this is in great shape. Uh, nice sticker placement. Really good there on the back side too. And then inside the bay, you're not going to see much really. A couple places you can stand. There's a little escape hatch here. You want to make sure that's in there. Um, and so that's good for those parts. You don't worry about anything inside the bay uh, besides these gates breaking. And then you could just slide this guy right back in here. I think it's nose first. No, it's uh, tail first. And then nose last. And you close the bay. So that's what that looks like. And then the one issue I have here is this is supposed to come with uh, three fins. I have uh, the one on the end here is broken off. Uh, I could put this one in reverse, but really I just need that. And that's the only piece that is missing. And then this, a lot of stuff that does go missing. So watch out for those fins because they can all break off. And then on the back here, you'll see you got three of these and these all pull off. Three of those, and then there's two more on the back side here. Then those also pull off, and that's basically what helps them stand. So there's five and five complete there. And then as you get back here, you can take this cord and you can put it here, so that's going to simulate that he comes out of the hatch. Uh, payload comes out of the hatch, puts his little backpack on, has his helmet, so he's breathing oxygen. And then he can put this in the back of the backpack and then he's supposed to be floating around in space. Let's see if we can get that going. I don't know if I can. I think he's just going to fall. Let's see if I get this up more. There we go. Yeah, so that's a tough one, as you can see. But um, that's basically it. That's it's a, it's a really cool vehicle really cool piece um, you know they started exploring more space stuff in the late 80s and that's that's what it looks like that's what it's all about they're pretty pricey online if you're trying to get one but definitely worth it fun toy so thanks once again for coming to the YouTube channel time travel is possible I am coming up on my 60th video uh, so let's see what that's going to be all about. And then um, I did do all those Halloween ones in the month of October. So we're done with Halloween. Good. I hope you all had a great one. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the future, time travelers.